Hi, I'm Dave Epstein, and welcome to this edition of Growing Wisdom. I'm here today at Windy Low in South Natick, Massachusetts, and we're in one of their greenhouses talking about what else? House plants. So the house plant I want to talk to you about today is the Schifflera. It's also known as the umbrella tree. It's native to Australia. It gets really big in its native habitat, over 40 feet tall, it becomes a big tree. There's some interesting newer varieties out there of the Schifflera. This is called a miniature Schifflera or dwarf Schifflera. The Schifflera does like a lot of light, so the more light you give it, the better it grows. We'll talk in a second about what you have to do in the winter and what you have to do in the summer in terms of light. Now one of the things about the Schifflera is you want to keep it evenly moist. Remember this is a tropical plant and as such it doesn't dry out. It's not used to real dry soil. If the plant does begin to dry out you'll notice some of the leaves starting to yellow and fall off. That's okay because once you start watering it again it tends to resume growth. Schifflera can get insects like any other house plants and one of the things that they could get is aphids. And what happens when they get aphids is the aphids begin to suck out the nice sweet nectar of the plant and they leave what's called a little bit of a residue or a honeydew on the Schifflera leaf. And then what happens is the other pathogen, it's called sooty mold, comes along and starts colonizing on top of the leaves. So if you look at your Schifflera and it has black stuff all over it, it probably has sooty mold. You also probably have aphids. If that happens, treat the plant with an insecticidal soap and try to wash the leaves as best as possible. I put my Schifflera outside during the course of the summer. That tends to keep the insect population low and also tends to wash off the sooty mold. Let's talk about what happens when you move a plant from the inside to the outside during the course of the season. So inside your home, even if it's in a bright window, it's not getting the same strength light that it would when you move it outside. Be very careful with the Schifflera when you move it outside during the latter half of the spring and early summer. If you put it directly in sun, you're going to burn the leaves. The leaves will actually turn almost white and then fall off. Eventually they'll get new leaves and the new leaves will be used to the sun, but if you want to avoid that problem, start your plant outside in bright light and ever so slowly move it into direct sunshine over the course of a week. While this is a dwarf Schifflera, this Schifflera is more typical in size. If we lived in the tropics, this would become a large tree. I'll leave this video with a quick story. My grandparents who lived in Florida used to summer in Maine. One year, my grandmother put out a Schifflera outside because she didn't want it to die over the course of the summer. She planted it in the ground and left for the summer. When they came back six months later, they had a tree in front of their house. She tells the story about pulling into the driveway and telling my grandfather, we don't have a tree in front of the house. Needless to say, the Schifflera grew quite a bit over that six-month period. For Growing Wisdom, I'm Dave Epstein.